I want to show you an animation of the geocentric and heliocentric models of the solar system. We'll begin with Ptolemy's geocentric model. Here's Earth at the center, that's the blue circle. Out here is the Sun, and the Sun moves around the Earth on this large circle. The orange planet is Venus, and Venus moves around this small circle called an epicycle, while the center of the epicycle moves around this larger circle called a deferent. Now we're going to be looking from Earth toward Venus, and at right is a telescopic view of what we'll see. When we're looking at Venus, we're facing south. And as you know, when we're facing south, if I turn my head to the left, I'm looking east, and if I turn my head to the right, I'm looking west. Now what you'll see is an arrow going from the Earth toward Venus. When that arrow swings counterclockwise, Venus will be moving to the east and the arrow will be red. When that arrow is swinging clockwise, Venus is moving toward the west and that's retrograde motion. Now, I'll start the animation. And right now, that arrow is moving counterclockwise and Venus is moving to the east. But right there, the arrow was moving clockwise and Venus was moving backwards to the west in retrograde motion. Now it's moving to the east, to the east, to the east. But now, it's moving to the west slightly and back to moving to the east. So you can see this arrow is swinging around counterclockwise, 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 and then right there it's moving clockwise as Venus executes its retrograde motion moving to the west. And that's how Ptolemy's geocentric model of the solar system explains retrograde motion. Let's reset things and look at Ptolemy's explanation of the retrograde motion of Mars. Again, here's the Sun orbiting the Earth. But the orbit of Mars lies outside the Sun's orbit. And so here's Mars. Mars will move around this smaller circle called the epicycle, while the center of the epicycle moves around the larger circle called the deferent. Again, we'll be looking from Earth toward Mars. When that arrow moves counterclockwise, Mars will be moving east in regular motion, and the arrow will be red. When the arrow moves clockwise, Mars will be moving westward in retrograde motion, and the arrow will be green. So let's watch this. Here's Mars moving eastward. The arrow is moving around counterclockwise until right about now. And you can see the arrow is now moving clockwise, and Mars there for a second was moving to the west in retrograde motion. So right now the arrow is swinging around counterclockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Mars is moving to the east until right here the arrow was swinging clockwise and Mars was moving west in retrograde motion. Let's watch that one more time. Counterclockwise, 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 counterclockwise. Mars is moving to the east until right about now when Mars moves to the west in retrograde motion. So that's how Ptolemy's geocentric model explains retrograde motion. Let's see how Copernicus's heliocentric model describes retrograde motion. Here it is. There's the Sun at the center with Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars all orbiting the Sun. 
again, you will see an arrow going from the Earth to Mercury. And every time that arrow moves counterclockwise, Mercury will be moving to the east. But when that arrow moves clockwise, Mercury will be moving west in the sky in retrograde motion. So let's watch this. There's the arrow. And look how fast things change here. Here it's moving counterclockwise and now clockwise. Counterclockwise and now clockwise. Counterclockwise and now clockwise. And every time that arrow moves clockwise, Mercury moves to the west in retrograde motion. Let's reset the animation and try the retrograde motion of Venus. Now you'll see an arrow moving from Earth to Venus. That arrow right now is going, it started out counterclockwise, but it went clockwise for a second. Now it's going counterclockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Venus is moving eastward, eastward. But right now it changes to moving clockwise for a moment as Venus moves westward in retrograde motion. We'll let that go one more time. Right now Venus is in normal motion to the east, but right now the arrow goes clockwise and Venus goes to the west for a second in retrograde motion. Finally, let's reset it and see how this looks for Mars. You'll see an arrow from the Earth Mars. Now watch which way that rotates. The arrow is rotating right now counterclockwise, but then for an instant it's rotating clockwise as Mars moves to the west before it resumes its normal eastward direction against the distant background stars. We'll watch that happen one more time. Here comes Earth catching up to Mars. And as Earth passes Mars, that arrow goes clockwise and Mars appears to move to the west. Notice that the planets never change their direction of motion. Retrograde motion is just what you see as you view the planets from the moving planet Earth. Right there, Mars in retrograde motion.